In other news you're following tonight, a lot of questions remain about the legitimacy of an audio recording that surfaced on social media yesterday. It contains racist and anti-Semitic comments allegedly made by the principal of Pikesville High School. Yes, it's been a big story. And while Baltimore County Schools investigates this recording now, some do believe it has been fabricated. WJZ first brought you this story last night right here on WJZ News at 5. And Jessica Albridge spoke with an artificial intelligence expert and has the details for WJZ. Is it real or is it fake? That's the question many in the community have been asking about an audio recording going around social media containing racist and anti-Semitic comments allegedly made by Pikesville High School principal Eric Eisbert. WJZ is choosing not to air the recording at this time because we cannot verify the authenticity of it. But we did have an expert listen to it to try to learn more. Hani Farid is a professor at the University of California, Berkeley, specializing in digital forensics and authenticating digital media. I don't think you can say that this is an authentic recording. And that's not to say that it's fake. Notice that I was very careful with my wording here. I don't think you can say it's real. And I think before we say it's real and, and, and have with serious consequences if it's real, of course, we need more information. He tells us without proper context and information about where the recording came from, it's hard to tell whether it's legit. But he says there are some red flags, including the fact that there are edits in the audio. The one thing that is completely unambiguous is that it has been spliced together. There are six moments in time, and in fact, if you listen to it, you can hear the splices. They're actually quite apparent. A spokesperson for Baltimore County Schools says the recording is under investigation. WJZ went to Iceworks home Wednesday morning to see if he would comment on the recording. Hi, I'm looking for Principal Iceworks. A person spoke to us through the front door. I mean, I'm here to hear his story. Yeah, but nobody's going to believe his story anyway, so it doesn't really WJZ also reached out to the union that represents Baltimore County School administrators. In a statement, the director told WJZ, the outrageous language in the audio is not the language, thoughts, or character of Principal Icewort. We support the BCPS investigation and will provide our full cooperation. We ask that there be a pause in any rush to judgment and that we act respectfully to his family, staff, and to each other. 